Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of War in the Pacific. This is Mr. M and W, uh, and sorry for a little while since I last did the, la the previous episode. I have been sick, and I have also saved over my file accidentally because I'm uh, very smart. In any case, let me also show you. Take a look at this. Ah. Ever since that, uh, those rule the waves uh, episodes, I have learned how to do this. And uh, now I can show you instantly the commander report. Instead of uh, doing a, middly, uh, a million fiddly things. So anyway, this is what's happening today. We got our uh, conversions update. Because it is finally, you know, the first of April. March even. Uh, so yeah, this is our uh, allotment for auxiliaries. I intend to have one of every auxiliary in every base, at least as a, a base for you know, so that we can be everywhere on the map that we want. Of course, for uh, future operations, this uh, will mean uh, adding to them. And for this, we have added uh, three ADs, have started conversion, three ASs are already converting, and uh, five AKEs. Unfortunately, all of my uh, big uh, ships that are uh, supposed to be converting to ARs now are uh, on operations, mainly the Indian invasion. That will take a little bit, a little bit longer. We are also beginning our air campaign over Chungking. Our bombing campaign, to be specific. Uh, we have received a couple new, of new units, but uh, let's switch over to the game. And here we are. We are. Uh, here are our bombers. They are gonna bomb Chungking into the ground, of course. We are also going to march into uh, Chungking in one day. Yeah, tomorrow. Not much else in China, I don't think. Ah, yeah, we're attacking here. Hopefully we have some kind of success. We'll see. Besides this, relatively quiet in Burma. We're just marching. Takes million years, you know how it is. In uh, Colombo, our uh, divisions have arrived in Colombo. Here they are. They're gonna take three days to rest, and then we can begin the invasion of Madras. I have not decided where to land. I will land either in these bases, in these bases, or directly on Madras. But uh, I'm gonna let my bomb, uh, my recon guys do some scouting. Meanwhile, on the western side of the island, our bombers and uh, these fighters will be withdrawing in a little bit, but they're gonna be searching for the formidable continuously. And uh, uh, Kid Kid of Taiwan is going to Colombo. Very nice. And from here, we're gonna refuel, of course. Maybe bomb Bombay. Depending on what we find, we may go for another strike. Because we do have the range now. And if we find nothing, then uh, we go back. And uh, we transfer these guys to the Pacific. Or to uh, the home islands. We'll see. Yesterday, we got uh, 8 to 19. Very nice. Mainly bomber kills. Ship-wise, we lost, uh, each of us lost a uh, 10-point tanker. Yeah. Not very impressive. And here is our invasion, the, sorry. This one, the 25th army went forward already. Here it is. Here it is. The 16th army did not. Because uh, I think I forgot to turn off uh, load supplies on one of them. But they should begin uh, going immediately. And I have assigned the bat div. Where the hell? Huh? Hello? You are uh, supposed to be assigned. Well, good thing I found this out. So these guys are uh, following the 16th army. These guys are supposed to be following these guys. There you go. At least until we are in bombarding range. After which we are just going to be providing cover. 
So anyway, the Congo Div and the Nagato uh, Bat Div, along with some cruisers and destroyers, are doing that. The Fusos are uh, escorting the 16th. I also got the Mogami Cruiser Division, along with the Sendai Cruiser Division together. And they're gonna be patrolling uh, whatever the hell is here. They're going to go ahead and uh, clear this area for uh, bombers. You know, oops. One second. Ah, okay. I got a. Hmm. I think my headphones disconnected, but uh, whatever. So yeah, these guys are going to go ahead and search for uh, any bombers that they might be patrolling with. And then the battleships will come to block any kind of reinforcement or uh, whatever counter strike they are preparing. And we're going to unload and at Diamond Point and directly into Chittagong. I do not expect uh, that much resistance. We shall see. Over here, not that much is happening. We are unloading. You know, it takes a million years over here. Although I don't know why. Oh yeah, I wanted to transfer one of these guys. Can I transfer you... to... We can actually bomb Kopang, you know? Uh, G3M... Huh? I only have two over here? What the hell? Yeah, I only have two. What happened to the third? We're under three? Ah, yeah, the, it's these guys. Okay, from here I wanted to take one of them, but uh, they're needed for now. In any case, near a ball. Not much is happening, really. Our cruisers got into port. They're uh, resting for now. The allies foolishly try again. Oops, I forgot to do this. Uh, yeah, they unloaded a shit unit once again, but we're gonna kick them back out. Mines, of course, that not doing anything. Never depend on mines. Subs are in place, of course. We are still patrolling over here. Very nice. Our division will go back in a little bit. Our Kates uh, got over here, by the way. Very nice to see. So that if they try any funny stuff over here, we can torpedo them with something better than, uh, you know, these guys that can never hit anything. I also want to get some fighters over here. The fighters that are supposed to be there are over here, finally. But they are clouds, and I do not have enough zeros, so uh, I'm just training them in strafing. They already have XP in air. So yeah, in like, uh, I don't know, half a month, they'll be doing cap in Suva. Our kid of Tai 2 is going back, of course. We do see some stuff. Uh huh. A bunch of stuff, yeah. Airfield level 5 and port of 4. That's not good. 9 units. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to crack, I can tell you that much. 11,000 troops, apparently. Going by the guns and AFB. Uh, I would say those are like. Either like one and a half divisions, let's say, worth of uh, combat, you know. So that's not particularly good. Over here, not much happening. Our uh, arrow formation is still in place over here. And we're still transporting supply and stuff to uh, the illusions. There you go. Not much more to say, at least I don't think so, so uh, let's go. Oh yeah, uh, before I forget, uh, I received the Junio, she's going to go together with uh, Zikaku over here, because in uh, two turns, meaning to do tomorrow, they'll be uh, up and operational again, and I can send them uh, down south, hopefully cracking Pago Pago once and for all. I also need to take a look actually at uh, 
my naval building program because now we have completed the carrier so presumably we have a little bit more stuff uh, available again sorry for the sniffles I am just sick but continuing on the Australians are again trying to uh, unload hmm. and they are striking my troops with bombers at night uh, okay what the hell from down so oh, okay yeah but Chungking Chungking will not have uh, much air much of an airfield left by the end of this turn to uh, launch our those aircraft from and no fighters contest us saying that beautiful although uh sadly our uh, first sweep did not come in first which is always annoying but yeah decently good co coordination we are bombing from 8k feet they do not seem to have a ton of flak certainly not and here we go we destroy some dc3s and some sp2s but no fighters at all that's good to see 35 runway hits for 25 percent damage so we need like a, like what 150 or so runway hits and uh, airbase hits to disable it now oh, hello welcome to the party oh yeah we're also finally bombing these guys i have no idea why I didn't start bombing them earlier. I guess this is why. Because we are just wasting supply. I thought they were in clear terrain though. Maybe I'm wrong. Ah, here we go, more aircraft. Hmm. Now they have slack, apparently. Maybe we surprised them before. Unable, Bet is unable to locate target. Yeah, well, screw you. Yeah, we also need uh, fighters in uh, Port Moresby, of course. That should go without saying, honestly. He lost another ship. Oh, yeah, the one that. Yeah, the one that was uh, unloading its final supplies. Here are some the Mitchells from Copang again. I have no idea how they have any supply in Copang. Actually, I do know. What? They got through. Like 45 zeros. Uh, 10 minutes. Uh, this is what happens. But I do have radar. What the hell? Do, do I not? I thought I had radar here. Okay. Maybe I have false memories. Anyway, let us go forth. Here we are entering Chongqing and also Chengdu. Chengdu. Okay. Isn't that... No. Is Chengde a different city? Or maybe Chengde is the modern pronunciation of this city. I don't know. Here we are at, uh, in Changsha. We are slowly rebuilding our forces once again. Thankfully, after we cleared out this area, we really do not have any anything else to do with this 11th army. They are going to go to uh, Manchuria. Their job will be done here. So I do not mind if we suffer heavy casualties. I just uh, care about taking the base. And the Chinese cannot... Uh, Cannot realistically be doing well on supply, now can they? And here we are finally attacking over here. We are completely surrounding them. I have no idea where the hell they are getting any kind of supply. They are not, presumably. And they have 500, let's say, supply. I mean, AV. We have like... Oof. Okay, less now. 22nd. Okay. 116th. Ah, okay, okay. 
I did not actually, I forgot to take a look at their leaders actually. I forgot to do that. I did not take a look at my leaders for quite a while actually. I guess just because I haven't seen uh, that much heavy combat. Oh, 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 finally. Lord Almighty, fin finally. We have achieved. Oh, uh, partial victory. They are still holding with some troops. And they retreat here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that's not good because uh, I we have practically nothing here, so we need to chase them here. We take uh, pretty equal casualties, but uh, most of my men are disabled. Theirs are destroyed, and they have way less men than me. That's good. So we destroy like ten percent of their force there. Presumably, most of their AV too. Finally, attacking. Oof! This battle at at Lancho is annoying as hell. Because it's preventing that oil from uh, being produced, you know? And we cannot crack them. Somehow. Oh, and we finally get to Kashgar. We shock attack, because why not? And we capture it and surrender, goddammit. Yes, thank you. I do not have to go chasing them around. Thank you. Yeah, they had no supply. 2000 guys, it's my base now. And with that, we have completely captured the northern part of China. Zero, I mean, except Xi'an. Yes, and these guys finally surrender too. Not all of them. Uh, they go to Sibolga, okay. I'm gonna have to go there anyway, so might as well chase them. By the way, I, by the way, I need to get into the habit of uh, actually letting my troops use uh, move mode when crossing a river. I always had it in my mind that uh, you need to go into combat mode because otherwise you're in the wrong combat mode. But no, actually, if you cross a river into an enemy base when you are in move mode, it automatically switches to combat mode. So you're just you know saving time. But I, for some reason I learned otherwise. So I need to unlearn that. Okay, here these guys are. Oh yeah, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully we wipe them out on the second day. And we can go reinforce those guys and then uh, go clear out the Guangxi area with them. Lan Chao? Lan Chao. Oh, okay. Xian expands. Very good, very good. I do not need to expand Xi'an any further now. It was a little bit overstacked. KUS1. Oh yeah, these guys, uh, yeah. We received a couple of uh, training units and uh, another, uh, what is it called? A fighter unit. But it uh, needs to be filled out. But I'm probably gonna, going to send it to... Uh... We'll see, we'll see. The zeros have range for uh, to be transported, so I'm not worried. Worried. Here is a U.S. sub. <laughs> Mark 14 moment. Ah. Eh. Well, you can get lucky all the time, but it's just uh... ah once again, it's just uh, Aiden class, so. Not a big deal. Shitty cargo ships is the one thing that Japan does have. A decent amount of anyway. In reality, that was not really the case, but uh, what can you do? Oh, here are my zeros with my nulls attacking in Madras. There's a destroyer in Madras, that's good to know. Oh yeah, and I forget. Oh. Take a look at this. Take a look at this convoy near Calcutta. Huh. I wonder what that is. Hopefully it's not a formidable doing a loop-de-loop -loop around me. But if they are, there are destroyers here, then I will uh, definitely need an escort. Okay.
All right. Let's get to bombing Chungking. Oh, nice damage, nice damage. Of course, this forces them to uh, not build forts, but uh, who knows if they even have the supply to do that. Uh, I cannot, I usually wait to get the Helen before doing this, because Chungking is of course the only real base in China that will have a lot of AA, you know. And it will take a toll on my pilots, you know. And I uh, would definitely love to use the Helen instead, but uh, I really cannot wait for that. Our boys are going. My Mavis has tried to strike something, but did not succeed. Oh, and take a look. Some Lysanders from uh, Chittagong. These are just a recon craft, not a real threat. And we intercept a cargo ship. Uh, a dad of our own. Very nice. Ah, we finally move into here. Very good. Yeah, we now have... Uh, Another division here, I forget which one. Maybe the sixth. Yeah, that went uh, like kind of like this. Yeah. It will... Uh, yeah, hopefully with them, we'll have enough strength to break through to the other side. Now, here we go, attacking this last core. A single core versus an army. Ooh, nice. Very good. Much better, much better result. They had bad morale too, that's good. I would have of course preferred if they surrender. They are clearly completely surrounded, but uh, who knows. Ooh, and uh, here we are in Chungking, they are bombarding us. They have a million armies here. And uh, we can see even half of their forces. But here we are, our end goal for China anyway. And we are coming here with the Kwantung army, the North China army, the Korea army, the 1st army, the 12th army, and that's it. In total I do not quite have as many divisions as you might expect. Some of them are detached, dealing with other stuff. In retrospect I should have allocated a bit more forces to these places. Oh. My screen uh, disconnected for a little bit. But here we go. This is what we have. They bombarded me with 920 guns, which is less than we have. That's good. 172,000 men worth 6,800 AV. Now we have around 3500 AV. And uh, way less troops, more guns and a lot more vehicles, but... Uh, yeah. Let me put it this way, if Changsha was a blood battle, bloodbath, then this will be an absolute nightmare. Let's also, let me also take a look. For future me to do an inventory of uh, what the hell is here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 29 Chinese cores. Twenty-nine Chinese cores. That's what we are facing. Of course, uh, a lot of them are not at full strength anywhere near, but uh, still. Twenty-nine Chinese cores. 
at least we are uh, bogging them down in a lot of these places our uh, tactical deep engagement as you may know it which does cause them to have less strength here than they otherwise would have but uh, it's a nightmare in any case and the chunk too uh, they have one core we can smash through it i think yeah we're gonna do one of these maneuvers and we'll see we'll see we do need garrisons for uh, for these bases so uh, it's not quite so simple but uh, we do of course need to take them not much of a choice Sinian, where the hell is Sinian? Over here. What? Hello? Did one of my... Huh? I have no idea how the hell I do not have enough garrison here. But like, what happened? Did they upgrade maybe? I think they may have upgraded. Or maybe I'm just dumb, I don't know. We'll see. In any case, let me save first. Because uh, you know how this game is. I would rather not re-record re this. Let's get over. Get on with it. Uh, 8 to 12, mainly Chinese. Of course. Uh, two ships lost. One of mine, one of theirs. One wounded and one killed pilot, that's good. But uh, let's take a look. We lost three Lilies and one Sally and one uh, Bab. So one, two, three, four, five. If we presume that on each raid we're gonna lose five planes and we have 125 of them around. Uh, I think we're gonna be fine, who knows. We did do about 50% uh, airfield damage, we're gonna go to 100. Just so, you know, so, just so we send a message. Uh, they're gonna escape in there. That's such an annoying spot. Forty, a hundred and twenty. We also need to pull some. <laughs> yeah, we we are also running low on uh, supply here, so I straight up need to pull out some force here. I don't like doing it, of course, but uh, what choice do I have? I'm gonna use some of these guys to get us on this and uh, forty AV. These guys are uh, very good for assaulting. They have. They are the only unit that I have that are uh, have half half tracks and AT guns, but and they're part of this tank division. But in any case, let's take a look. Actually, just before we leave, what the hell this is? CLs, APs. I am very much glad I am sending this cruiser division ahead, and here they are. They will arrive in like, what, one, two, maybe three days. So these guys in like four days, okay, so two turns. Meanwhile, my carriers will arrive in uh, Colombo next turn. They'll refuel. Over here, I only have some support uh, stuff. Yeah, and some uh, APs, of course. You are going back to uh, 
you guys are going to go back to uh, Singapore actually. Yeah, the reason the to Rangoon actually. The reason for this is uh, to pick up this air force because they will be very useful in uh, India, of course, particularly in defending or uh, you know attacking Calcutta. Hopefully, it falls soon enough. Over here, not much info. Still no sign of uh, any American carriers. We have sunk two of them, pretty sure. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.